Why do we light a lamp? What are the different kinds of lamp? And what are the ways in which we can use the lamp to energize the space where we live in? Let's look at that today. Namaskaram. Welcome to the next episode of Know Your Culture. Let's say you want to take your partner on a romantic date. What do you do? You either take them on a candlelight dinner or you, or you set up one, right? So what happens? What is so exciting about a candlelight dinner? No, it's not about the low light ambience, nor is it about the food that you eat or not what's happening over it. It's something else. You feel there is a certain openness. Maybe logically you are not able to understand what's happening, but in your experience you see there is a certain openness in that situation, right? Lighting a lamp is not only about experience, but it's also customary. You know, in these modern times, even with so much lights that have come, let's say there is an inauguration happening, you know, there will be hundreds of lights lit up, the stage is lit up, but still they light a lamp, right? This is how much lighting a lamp is ingrained in our culture. When I was growing up, although our family cannot be called as a religious family, still lighting a lamp was so much part of our culture. Morning and evening lamps were always lit. Uh, morning parents lit the lamp and evenings after we come back from school and play for some time and when we come back home, we are supposed, we are expected to wash our hands and feet and legs or take a bath and then light the lamp. The first question when parents come home from office is, did you light the lamp? They didn't ask us to, you know, sit and pray or meditate or do anything. Just lighting the lamp was so significant. So lighting a lamp is something that I grew up with. And most of you, I'm sure, grew up with that as well. And if you, if you have forgotten, this is a reminder for you. There are different kinds of lamps. Some are made with clay, you know, the terracotta ones, and some with brass. And based on the geographical uh, location, in the country, you will find there are different kinds of lamps. The place where I come from in the south, you have this kuttu vilak or nila vilak, the tara vilak and the tuku vilak which you can hang it on from the ceiling. So there are many different kinds of lamps. In many traditional houses in the south, there is something in front of the house called a tulasi pedum. It's like a platform, raised platform with soil filled up and there is a tulasi plant, a basil plant. And uh, usually during the mornings and evenings, a lamp is lit in the niche and people go around it. And during the evening time, the evening time called as Sandhya time, there is a practice in Kerala called as Sandhya Deepam. Sandhya literally means the twilight time. Sandhya means the meeting time of day and night. So during that time, usually the women, they go and first light the lamp even before the electric lamp is lit for the night they first light the lamp in the puja or the shrine uh, room and then from there they carry the nila vilak and walk towards the entrance of the house by saying deepam deepam and then they go to the entrance of the house place it sit there and then either just, just keep saying deepam deepam for some time or they sing some kind of song or bhajan or something like that and whoever is there in the house they stop whatever they are doing and they come and be around that space for a few minutes this is something that is still being followed in the houses in Kerala and wherever uh, you know Kerala people live elsewhere, they still follow it. In Tamil Nadu, we have something called as Vilaku Puja. Vilaku Puja is usually done around a Purnami, a full moon night. Uh, at a Devi temple and women they come in the numbers of you know 54 or not a thousand and eight they sit in rows with each one having a lamp a personal lamp so they light the lamp and a, a elaborate process of puja is done where there is a connect between the woman sitting there and the lamp they actually invoke the divine grace into the lamp that is how the process goes 
and it is said to create a certain energy which is conducive for that space and for the individual who is doing it the kind of oil that we use to light the lamp also creates also influences the impact that it creates uh, the sesame oil which is till oil for example is said to create overall health and well being if you light a lamp using ghee it is said to create wealth and prosperity and um, castor oil arandi ka tel which is used for overall protection and so on kerosene lamp should not be lit nor the candles which are made from petrochemical uh, products because as we saw in the previous video the kind of volatile oils which come out of the lamp or the fire immediately is taken into the system so these substances could be harmful to the body in vadalur in the state of tamil nadu in india there Uh, was a siddha who lived by the name of Sri Ramalinga Adigal, also called as Vallalar. He has written many texts. To this day, people follow those texts for the siddha medicine. Siddha medicine uses herbs and uh, other uh, substances available naturally, and uh, he has given many methods to have attain mastery over the body. Kaya Siddhi. Towards the end of his life. he is said to have walked into a room and disappeared in thin air that's the kind of mastery he is said to have over his body he advocated the use of a lamp as a means to relate to the divine or to connect to the divine and taught the method of ultimate compassion towards all living beings in yoga there are six actions that are performed in the process of purifying the body these are called as uh, shat karmas and one of that uh, six actions is called as uh, tratak Tratak involves gazing on a particular object, or usually a lamp is used. Lots of preparatory exercises are involved before actually starting to do that. So it could be harmful for anyone to just, you know, do that without proper guidance. Such a practice should be properly learned from a yoga teacher and then practiced, because improper practice practice of tratak could actually cause harm to the eyes. But if learned and done properly, they have found that it it. sorts of relaxes the eye muscles and strengthens the nerves which are attached to the optic system many clinical experiments have been conducted on practitioners of tratak and control uh, groups where they don't practice tratak and they have found a phenomenal increase in attention span uh, concentration and cognitive flexibility and also response inhibition in people there is a powerful process called buddha shuddhi which can be practiced by anybody in this process the five elements in the body earth water fire air and space they are cleansed so one can learn this process um, i'm putting the link in the description below you can contact uh, any of the classical hatha yoga teachers and get initiated in the into the buddha shuddhi process there are many ways in which you can use a lamp to energize the space that you are living in there is a certain method where you can draw triangles using um rice flour or any cereal flour draw triangles in the four corners of the room and in the center of the room two triangles intersecting each other and you place a plate filled with water and then you place some flowers in it and then a lamp in the plate of water whoever enters that space can actually feel a different kind of enhanced energy in that space if you can't do such an elaborate process you can just create one intersecting uh, upward and downward triangle using pulses you know lentils and uh, you can just place a plate filled with water and a lamp in it and you can place some flowers around it daily lighting this in the evening you will feel a phenomenal increase in the way the room feels blowing the lamp to put it off is considered inauspicious but when we celebrate birthdays we make a wish and then blow off the flame that is something to think about when you light a lamp you are seeking to move from darkness to light both on the outside and within Are you interested in knowing more ways to enhance the space or the house that you are living in? If you are interested, let me know in the comment section below and I'll make more videos on that. Till we meet again, take care. Namaskar. Subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell so you don't miss our videos.